is how camping should be. Woke up this morning to some rain, which quickly turned into snow. We're expecting about three inches today. I take this opportunity to just kind of chill and enjoy the peacefulness of the snowfall. I'm using a little different setup on my Kodiak canvas. My diesel heater took a quit. Uh, I had a fuel pump issue. So I'm using the buddy heater, which in this small space in this tent, it really warms it up fast. And um, to help circulate air, I have a little battery operated fan and a light there. And that blows a lot of the heat from the top of the tent, moves it around uh, much more even as far as the heat distribution. I found that even running just the pilot light on the buddy heater raises the temperature about three to four degrees in here. Um, it wasn't particularly cold last night, so I ran, uh, once I got it warmed up in here to about 50 degrees, I just let the pilot light run and um, I was pretty comfortable all night. But you can see the Kodiak canvas tent holding up as usual. That's why I'm such a big fan. I've got my X-Ped mattress right here on top of my standard moving blanket. And um, I had a really, really comfortable night's sleep waking up to that. Look at that. It's accumulating pretty quick. Should be a pretty fun uh, exit from camp whenever I decide to do that today. It's just so pretty. I'm going to enjoy it for a little bit. canvas snow camping trip this time only a couple inches of snow kind of rained stayed nice and dry in there uh, so it rained for a couple hours and then it got below freezing and then lots of snow came down so that's kind of cool woke up to that this morning but uh, as usual it's holding up just fine you can see some of the accumulations there not a whole lot this round but um, it definitely is up to the task, without a doubt. This overhang here kept the door pretty dry. Uh, the snow was kind of falling straight down, so that was really nice. I just sat here with the door open and my buddy heater purring away, and that was nice and warm inside while I watched the snow fall this morning. So once again, a great design by Kodiak Canvas. Now inside here, you can see a little bit of um, putting my gear back in there. Um, that's my sleeping pad rolled up there. And then that is the soft topper. So in inclement weather like this, pretty much how I do it is I pack everything up. I get it inside the truck. And then the last step is I take the Kodiak Canvas tent down. I just lay it down on top of all my gear and then pull the soft topper up and the reason why i do that is because as soon as you get home this needs to dry out the kodiak canvas has to dry out otherwise you get it moldy so there's no point in packing it all up so what i do is i put all my gear in break it down quickly throw the soft topper up and i drive away and that saves a little bit of a process in the cleanup stage anyway <clears throat> but yeah it's a fantastic deal and you can see it's holding up just fine. A little bit of wind too. And we've got that front canopy as well. So if you want to use the uh, vent right there, there won't be any weather getting in. It'd take quite a bit of wind and stuff to get that in there. Um, this is actually not really quite set up right. It's bowed out a little bit, but either way it works pretty good doesn't interfere with the roof rack or anything and then all the step or the, uh, all the straps here 
are fairly tight. I don't even do the back straps. I really don't see any need for it. It tucks underneath the truck. They have a rubber sheath here that you can put in over the tailgate, but I like the flat, hard surface. And um, I've never really had to use that. So, But if you wanted to, you could stick some stuff underneath there to keep it dry. But I typically take off, my sleeping pad comes right about here. So when I get in, I take my boots off and just set them right here near the edge. And that way um, they don't freeze up overnight and they're nice and toasty in the morning. So there you go, Kodiak canvas. And this is my homemade tarp uh, canopy. Really lightweight, uh, cheap. Just a couple of adjustable poles here. Some cargo straps, which I always carry. And I went and got, bought a little grommet kit, put grommets all the way around so you can set it up however you need it. This time I put a couple bungee cords here on the front. And um, on the roof rack, I just got a couple carabiner clips that clip in for ease of access. And it gives me a nice dry cooking area. And you can see there's no snow on the ground there. So I was able to do my cooking. And uh, before I set that table up, I even had the doors open on the truck, able to get gear in and out, which is pretty nice when it's uh, inclement weather and you don't want to get the inside of the vehicle all messy. But there's always, you know, a little bit of planning when you park. You can always find some place to tie off with your cargo straps and <clears throat> that'll keep it nice and tight. And the snow even accumulated quite a bit on the top and uh, it holds it just fine. So, uh, you know, a cheap option if you're looking for some kind of a, a tarp or canopy. This, is, I think, is a six foot by six foot or maybe five foot by five foot, not very big. The bigger you get, the more problems you have with wind and uh, snow accumulation. You just need something to get you out of the weather a little bit. Uh, anyway, that's the setup. I gotta finish cleaning it up here and uh, hit the road. The trails are getting kind of ugly. They've been uh, a little bit muddy with some pretty deep mud holes, which are only gonna be worse since it did rain and snow. So we'll have to work our way through that. But what an awesome campsite. Look at this, huh? Very icy. 